Okay, hello everyone. My name is Mo. I'm a senior project manager and business analyst. And today I'm going to be showing you how to send multiple emails to multiple people or the same email to multiple people um, and make it personalized. So the receiver only sees it as though you're sending it to him or her themselves. And how we're going to do this is using Microsoft Mail Merge on Microsoft Word and Outlook. Um, now to, to start this, to do a mail merge, what you need on your computer are one, you need some sort of database or data source. Uh, I, I, I uh, recommend you use Excel. Um, you need Microsoft Outlook to send the email. You need Microsoft Word to type the email. And of course you need your recipients who you're sending the email to. Uh, so email addresses and content. Um, and you need you, you might want to add an attachment and the the big focus of this uh, tutorial is how to add the attachment because Microsoft Word does not allow you to add an attachment uh, to a mail merge you have to download an add-in tool and we'll, we'll go into that so this is my data source um, this is who I'm sending the email to today's tutorial is to send an email for example if you're a distribution company or rather a manufacturing company and you want to send an email to distributors across the country to distribute your product. Uh, you have the name of, of who you're sending to, uh, the title, the email address, the company name, and the location. Um, so this is our data source. This is who we're sending an email to. Uh, then you want to go type the email in Word, and you want to make sure you have Microsoft Outlook installed uh, and connected to your Microsoft Word, and that the, the default sender in Microsoft Outlook is the email address you want to send the mail merge from. Now. Let's jump into our mail merge. You open uh, Microsoft Word. I'm just going to do Control N, open a new Microsoft Word page, and then you go to Mailings here on the task ribbon. You click Mailings, and then you go to Start Mail Merge. Uh, to do that, you go to uh, Email Messages, and then you can start the email. Um, usually, I like to uh, select my recipients first, so you just go to Select Recipients. Um, you go one by one on this. Uh, on this tab here until you go to until you're done and you click merge and send now select recipients you can type in a list you could use an existing list or you could select lists from Outlook um, I like to use an existing list uh, which will be the same list I just showed you the Excel list uh, so you go to wherever the list is and then you click it this is my list here and then you click open uh, so it should be in here now. To confirm if it's in there, you just go to edit recipient list and you will see that this uh, list of first name, title, company name, email address is the exact same list that I had here on Excel. So it's the same. So now we're gonna type the email that we're sending out to these people. So remember, we are a company that's a manufacturing company and we're looking for distributors. We have a distributor list and we wanna make sure, or rather we wanna email these people and uh, see if they're interested in distributing our product. So we'll type the email, say hello. You know, this is where you put the person's name. You don't put any uh, information there. I'll show you how to put the information of the people there. Hello, first name, for example. We are uh, uh, a soap distribution company. You wanna make sure your spelling is correct, of course. Distribution company. My uh, part of me here, my uh, right click is acting up. Okay, sales distribution, soap distribution company, and looking for distributors in this location. We're a manufacturing company actually, so we'll just choose manufacturing. distributors in a certain location uh, we heard your company is a good company to work with company name is a good distributor we will be in your location next week it will be great to have a chat please find attached 
our list of products. Kind regards, Mo. Uh, Jimmy, CEO, or say marketing manager. Clean so. So we are a soap manufacturing company called. Just add your company name on the top. Now, how exactly do we do we add in the names of the people we're sending this to? So you go here. You say hello. This is where you add the, the title. You go to insert merge field. Insert insert the title. So hello, first name or hello Mister our missus so the title is the uh, this is the title right mister then you add their name you put a space and you add their first name mister first name we are a soap manufacturing company called clean soap looking for distributors in the location of the person who's receiving this email so then you add their location right in location we heard your company Then you add the company name. Is a good distributor. We will be in, you put the, t the town again that you're going to be visiting to find distributors. Uh, insert the company, the, title, the location again. Next week, it will be great to have a chat. Kind regards. There seems to be some sort of issue with my computer because of this video, but nonetheless, we'll carry on. Okay, so that's the, the email is here. Uh, now you want to see how this email looks to people who are receiving the email. So you click preview results. So now when Mr. Bola is getting this message, here's what he'll see. He'll see it like it's himself. Hello, Mr. Bola. We are a soap manufacturing company called Clean Soap and looking for distributors in Toronto. Because remember, he is in Toronto. We heard your company, JMG Consulting, where I had a company name before, right, is a good distributor. We will be in Toronto next week. Again, this is the same location that was there. It's picking whatever we had in the Word document. Uh, the code and is picking it from the title here. It would be great to have a chat. Please find attach our list of products. You want to make sure your spelling error is correct or your spelling check your spellings correct because there's nothing worse than having uh, a meal merged to 500 people with the same spelling error, right? And then you, when you're done, you preview your results for all the people you're sending it to. This is Mrs. Bola who's getting this. This is Mr. Mo, right? So you have four people getting this email, same as you had here, one, two, three, four. So now what you want to do is merge and send. Uh, so that's how you send the email. You click merge and send. Uh, you put, you send it to the email address, right? You send it to the email address field. You add your subject line, for example, looking for distributor and then you make you uh, you do that now usually you would not see a way to add an attachment here why you see this attachment is because we downloaded an add-on now we downloaded this add-on called mail merge toolkit it's important to download the mail merge toolkit otherwise you cannot add an attachment to your Mail merge. So you Google it, mail merge toolkit, and then you will see it should be the first one that shows up from Map by Lab, Mappy Lab. And you open it, you um, you view the page, and then you go to download free trial, and you download it and install it for your Outlook uh, 64 or 32 bit. Mine's a 32 bit. Okay, so everything's nice and done for the email. Um, also, usually, uh, to do this email, 
uh, mail merge with the mail merge toolkit I you might go from here using this email uh, function here or you could do the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard which teaches you how to do it for the first time and it will, it will guide it will start from here it will start from step one on this side um, and then you go to go here select recipients so we're doing the exact same process here as we did here um, and then you upload you write out the email you preview you could preview from this side as well right and then you go to complete the mail merge and then you click mail merge toolkit here now you're sending it to these email addresses um, you know blind copying anyone and you add your subject line looking for soap distributor and you could add a location of the recipients in the subject line so that's that's a pretty cool feature you can add whatever you want to add in the subject line you could say hello mister you know whoever and put it in the subject line what we're going to do here is add location in the subject line uh, and we're going to add the attachments so we're going to remove what was there before and we're going to add a file um, you just click add file then you go to um, whatever file you want to attach you click it there you click OK now you're gonna send all these emails now how do I know this is gonna send properly how do I know it's not gonna be any errors or anything um, what you could do is you could essentially go on Microsoft Outlook and click file work offline what that does is that when you send the email from your Microsoft Word it's gonna essentially not send the email it will keep it in your outbox so that you could go there and check and make sure everything is correct so outlook is offline now so i can send the email from word but it will not leave uh, outlook it will not get to your recipient because i've clicked work offline now another thing you might want to learn is how to schedule your email if you're sending out 500 emails to 500 people uh, the email scanners might pick that up and say oh, that's that might be scam or spam because there's so, so many people you're sending it you're sending the same email to so many people so what you want to do is you want to schedule it you can say send only emails from you know person one to person three or person two you, if you have a list of 500 you can say send from one to 25 you click send you go back again and say send from 26 to 50 I like to send uh, my emails in batches of 25 so that you don't get uh, emails emails uh, or email filtered um, what else do you need to know about this so you have your source your mail um, you should be good to go so you're just gonna click send all records um, you know you're sending it to this email address subject line your attachment is there um, so you think who, what, where, why, how, everything's all, all there. And then you click use default account. You say OK. And it should send. It's going to ask you to save uh, your mail merge document. So we'll just save this, e this Word document as uh, mail merge to distributors. Um, you click save. It's loading in the background, so now it's loaded, and it's sent, or it's sending, uh, it's processing. You let it process, you let it sit there for for a while, and you can see the emails are sending uh, based on the location, or rather based on the information of the recipient, um, and that should be all done. Okay, so total records for to be sent for process for you close, so we're done. So now we're gonna go check in Outlook to make sure. Uh, so to do that, it's already open. You just go to your outbox, right? So you click your outbox, and you can see all the emails we just sent right now. Uh, you can just check it to make sure it's correct. Uh, this is going to this person looking for sub distributor in Toronto. You can see where we put the location. Uh, Hello, Mr. Bola. Blah blah blah. You click send. Um, you don't need to click send. Essentially, all the emails will send once you you disable work offline and go on the internet. Um, so now these emails should just send right away. 
one of the one of the reasons or one of the things I do with Mail Merge is when I'm looking for a job, I have a list of uh, recruiters who I've spoken with in the past or hiring managers in different companies. Um, it's a long list. Um, I just do the exact same mail merge, just say hello, first name, I'm now looking for a role as a senior PM in Toronto. Um, it was great working with company name last time um, and hoping we could work together again. Thank you, have a nice day. So there you have it, how to send a mail merge. Uh, my name is Mo, hope this was helpful. Thank you, have a nice day.